Hello and welcome to Bitcoin 10x. Hi guys, so as people are aware, the popular exchanges that are hitting all of the platforms are actually releasing airdrops. Now for those of you that uh, obtained the Uniswap airdrop in October of 2020, you may have been lucky enough to do an exchange on One Inch, and One Inch uh, gave away their airdrop at the end of December. Unfortunately, I myself missed out on this one because I, I didn't use One Inch and I wasn't familiar with it at the time, I know I am. So if they ever do a version 2, one inch could have another airdrop coming in 2021 or 2022. However, this is just a rumour right now. The one I'm looking at today is Zerion.io. So I'm just going to do a quick tutorial. So we're going to connect wallet. If you haven't already, you do need to register on MetaMask and you can connect your wallet on MetaMask. To do this, you will need your seed phrase. I'm not going to go into that on this video. I have done a previous video on how to connect your MetaMask, and this can be found here. So I'm just going to log in with MetaMask. Now, from what I have read, it does say to do a couple of swaps on Zerion. So this is me looking at this program for the first time. See, I've got a little bit of Ethereum in there. Click next, connect. There's no fees for this. So you connect your wallet to Ethereum. Connecting, confirm. So you need Ethereum to start using Ethereum, deposit methods and payment process. So these, I've, I've already got Ethereum on there, so I don't need to do this step. Skip. So this is telling me, so you remember in my last video, or one of my last videos, I did the Didex exchange, and I transferred, it was £15 in sterling, it charged me £8 in fees, but left me with £6, it's now up to $28. So if this was in pounds, it would be about £24. Just telling me I've got that in my wallet. So I'm going to head over to exchange, pay with Ethereum. search assets so i'm just going to pop in 0 0.01 so let me do a decimal point yes it does so exchange trade any token lp share or vault in a single transaction hmm. okay so it's allowing at this time. So 0 0.01 into die. How can I stop that into something else? Receive. Chain link's not too shabby. So that'll be an estimated 0 0.06. So let's increase that slightly to get one chain link. Two. Actually, 1.15 1 gives me just under one chain link. Oh, as near as damn it. There you go, one chain link. So, just going to quickly have a look at the fees. Minimum received, one link. Price impact, 0.05%. Exchange. It's going to tell me the fees on MetaMask. Joking, gas fee sixty-two pounds. Edit.
So you just, uh, instead of £69, it's uh, just went to edit to reduce the fees, and that's now took it down to 17 in total. So the gas fee is now 13 cents. Amazing. Confirmed. Error. Exchange. Try that again. Advance. F6. Save. 14 cents. 14 pence even. Average advance one five five two one. Da, da, da. Let's go fifty. One hundred seems to like that. Two pound confirm. Change the slippage fee to five percent. Slow save exchange. Confirm. There you go. So just had to play around with that a little bit, guys, because the slippage fee was was only one percent. So by the time I actually go and do the exchange through MetaMask, it's obviously slipping more than 1% and there is high volume at the moment. So as you saw, I went to the settings and changed the slippage rate to 5%. And that seems to have gone through. I also changed the processing speed to slow. Now, many people, the default setting will be fast. So that will be the, the highest fee that they can possibly give you. And you're talking seconds. So something will be like two or three seconds to actually exchange, which means your slippage fee will remain at around 1%. But if you slow that down to 30 seconds, then you're more than likely going to slip out of that 1%. Changing the price actually changes from 1% and goes over that. So change it to 5%. And it was a, it was, it was a slower rate. So again, guys, this is just education. It's just me showing you how I did it. Um, and then you go, I've done an exchange on Zerion, and now I am, I'm in contention. So Chainlink should go to $200 at some point this year. So for £16, I will probably 10x my money on that. Uh, so the fee really doesn't matter, although it's only a couple of pence. There you go. That is my first exchange on Zerion. Now, why am I doing this? If I just go to an article here just explains about Zerion.io. Okay, so Zerion is an all-in-one DeFi dashboard that makes a range of DeFi activities such as lending, borrowing and trading easy and manageable from a single interface. So for those of you that are familiar with Aave, um, Aave is something, like, something ridiculous, like $150 per token right now. Let's have a quick look at that while we're here. So let's have a look at Aave. Let's see where it came in the last 12 months. So it's number 16 on the ranks. What I'm doing is, Aave was one of the first uh, lending protocols in the market. Um, it's currently sitting at, when it wakes up, $291. And where did it come from in the last 12 months? It came from $56. Zerion, we've done our first exchange. As the DeFi sector experiences a boom in the year 2020, these types of dashboards and their growing list of services have become increasingly important. As one of the most popular DeFi wallet management platforms, Zerion could decide to transfer the platform's management to the community. I am now a part of that community. What a better way to earn a reward to loyal customers of the platform with the corresponding governance token via an airdrop. Again, for the newcomers to the space, um, if you use these exchanges, simply look up Uniswap. 
and Uniswap was the first um, governance exchange to start releasing money back to the community. Now, this airdrop was 400 uni. Uh, at the time of September 2020, it was worth about $1,000. Now, there was an increase in Uniswap's token. So some people came away with $2,000. Um, and this dropped again as people with, were withdrawing their money out of the system. Now, if you'd have kept that in, it would be worth around $4,000 today. So they're very useful to have in your wallet. And you can exchange them back into Ethereum, move them to your bank account, whatever you want to do with them. So that's me set up on Zerium. I hope you liked the video, guys. There was a bit of fiddling to do. But that's why I do these tutorials on... Well, I basically do them live. I, I go into it for the first time have a play around with the system and then just make sure I know how to use it and now you guys know how to use it so again I hope you like the video guys more airdrops incoming I'll see you in the next video bye bye